started off like it was too good to be true and everything was perfect. Then at the pit of my stomach, I just started having these feelings like something wasn't right. He was lying about sexual relations with other women before he met me, about his ex-girlfriends who he slept with. Some people may consider white lies. I, uh, I guess now they're not really considered white lies. I told him everything. Just sucks that he made me feel like he doesn't love me really, as much as he's been telling me for a year and a half. I think he sees how much suffering you put me through. Infidelity is probably one of the most emotional cases that you, we can have. I don't have any faith left. This is my last hope. I'm a forensic psychophysiologist. Psycho meaning mind, physiology meaning body. I study how does your mind affect your body. I'm an independent seeker of the truth. Your lie will affect you. Your lie will affect those you love. You can't run from the truth. I'm Ken Donaldson, the lie detective. You want to draw out your office right now and figure out how to put that desk in there? I know how to put it in there. But you built it the opposite way. No, I built it exactly the way we talked about it. It is exactly the way we talked about it. You are a dictator. <laughs> yes, you are. Okay. Well, we'll have when we to get see. there, when we get there, you'll see. I'll show you. Today's a very exciting day. Uh, we are moving our office. My father would always say, being an entrepreneur, after five years, you, you're either uh, still in business or out of business. And uh, we're very thankful to still be in business after five years. Okay. Like it? I do like it here. Well, not the desk, the office. Yeah, I do like the office. I do like the desk too, but I don't yeah. like it here. You want to put it in the corner and have a look again? We did it yesterday. Want to do it again? No, that's not right. No, this way. This part on here. See? It should have been built on the other way. No. Never mind. Put your desk however you like. No, I really no, let's, think, let's, though, let's, that let's the put it your place... way. Let's have a look at that. I love you. <laughs> but you built the desk wrong. <laughs> I'm here today to gather truth for her and show her that I am the man that she originally wanted me to be, and the man that I always envisioned myself I am. Brendan, Leslie Donaldson at ITR. Hi there. Hi. And you are? I'm Amber. Hi, Amber. Leslie. Come on this way and I'll take you into Ken's office, okay? You know, I prefer in a relationship issue to have both the parties come to the office. I like to talk about the accusation. Let's talk about what's been assumed that one person has been doing and let's design questions. Time, place, or people. What's the, the issue that we're gonna test for today? Um, unfaithfulness. Okay, fidelity, I call that a fidelity, fidelity test. Okay, so give me a little bit of background information about the two of you. How long have you known each other? Uh, a couple of years now. Okay. I'm the type that moved in pretty much the first week we met. So. You moved in together? Yeah. Right away? How old are you, Brandon? 22. And how old are you now? 23. So you, you were 22 when you guys met? Mm. 21, 22? Mm -hmm. No serious boyfriends until Brandon, what? The last boyfriend before Brandon was very serious, three and a half years. Okay. Where do you work? Uh, Capital Health. Yep. You? Same thing. You guys work in the same place? Yeah. What do you do? Uh, Capital Health. I'm a peace officer. Security is a general, yeah, more of a general statement about it. Right. What sort of schooling do you require to do this? To a polygraph school. It's an American APA accredited polygraph school in Largo, Florida. It's called the Academy of Polygraph Science. My title is I'm a forensic psychophysiologist. Yeah. Kind of a big word, but if you take that word apart, psychophysiology, psycho is your mind, physiology is your body. How yeah. does your mind affect your body? That's what I study. Yeah. So you guys moved in early April and now you're having doubts about him? Tell me about that. Um, just I would always have that feeling that he was sugarcoating stories, things didn't make sense. Give me an example of something that he said to you that just you know, doesn't 
This doesn't add up to you. Uh, sorry, I can't think of so many of them. Um, example is when I first met Amber, I like to glorify stories of things that have happened before I met her. A perfect example would be I actually have a, a tattoo. And I told her when I first met her that it was symbolic for, for some organization or a major thing that would, you know, ma meant I was in some sort of power. And as far as it came out, the truth was is that I didn't actually get it for that reason. I got it because I was a 15 year old kid who, who didn't know what he wanted and picked a symbol that I saw off of a, a box of a, a brand name or something. Right. It's a speaker company. So you said to her that it was something different, just to uh, sort of embellishing the story. Embellishing the story to build myself up towards her, to make her think that I was a little bit better than I really was. It's not just with small things like that. It's with a girl that you tried to make me jealous. That's me. What happened? We were talking about who we were with a long time ago, and he told me about this girl that he knew from BC uh, that has her own website type thing. Not, not, she well, sells pornography. images of herself yeah. on the internet? Just yeah. pictures. Okay. Mm -hmm. And he told me he had slept with her a long time ago. And after that, I was really upset about it because he didn't tell me for like, over a year. And then he admitted that he didn't end up sleeping with that woman. He just said it to make me upset. Can you tell me why you have a wedding band on your wedding ring finger? Because we would like to get married one day, and I, we decided together that uh, we were going to wear rings. Do you have one on your uh, ring finger? Not anymore. Since when? Good eight months, maybe. You took it off eight months ago? Probably, yeah. Why? Because he works nights sometimes. I don't know what he's doing. He's got the keys to all the hospital. After all these lies, my mind just races with so many questions. What because if, what if, what if? Yeah. So, why do you think that he's been unfaithful to you now? Well, I think because he's been talking to this woman at work. I don't feel that anything's really like going on cheating-wise, but it leads me to believe that he might be from all the other lies that he's lied about. Right. What's her first name? Stephanie. How long have you worked with Stephanie? Eight, eight months. And are you uh, just a flirt at work? He's talked to everybody? And it's a little bit awkward and difficult when you have to work with someone for 12 hours a day. You get to know each other pretty well. Not in a physical way, but you still get to know each other's own person very well. Right. So let's talk about what questions we want to use for the test. I used three or four relevant questions in the test, but I like to stick to topic. So, did you bring some? Okay. On here, you have a lot of things about feelings. Those are things I can't help you with. I deal with things that are concrete, okay? And I love the all-encompassing question. To me, the best question for this kind of test is, ask him, have you had sexual contact with anybody other than Amber? Put a date in there, okay? How many of those can you ask? Well, do you mind if I just read them so that he, he knows them? Okay, so just so you know, the first question is, have you ever slept with another woman or had any sexual relations with another woman from January 26, 2007 till now? Why did you use that date? Because that's when we first that started dating. The next question is, have you had any feelings for any of your ex-girlfriends since January 26, 2007? I'll guarantee you he's had feelings. They might not be good, but he's going to have some sort of a feeling. That's one of the reasons why I, I just can't use that question. Yeah. Are you concerned that he's contacting these people? Have you made any contact with any of your old girlfriends? Twice. I haven't made contact, no. They've called me. Okay, so obviously you're here because there's been some distrust and some things going on and you guys just need some clarification. Uh, what else do we want to know here today? Can I ask if he flirts? How about this? Because I ask things that are concrete. You ever ask anybody out? No. Since you've been with her? No. Okay. What if I wanted to? That's different. That's totally different. You know? That's um, a feeling. That's like, that's like me asking you under the polygraph, you know, that really good looking doctor that works over there that, you know, makes a lot of money. Wouldn't you ever think that maybe it would be nice if he asked you out? You might not want to go out with him, but it might be nice if he asked. Yeah. You know what I'm, you know what I'm saying? Doesn't mean you'd go out with him. Right? Ultimately, this test is for you guys, right? It's not for me, and the wording has to be clear for you so that you can answer it correctly, okay, and honestly. But you told me you never even slept with anyone for a year before you met me. 
and then I find out five or six times with your girl ex-girlfriend, and then twice with this nurse. So I want to know if you've had any contact with any of these women. Since I've been with you, no. Since you've been with me. I think it's important to make that distinction. He couldn't have sort of made a, a pact or, or a promise to you before he knew you. He didn't know that he was going to meet you, fall in love with you, and decide that you're the one that he wants to spend his life with. Right? And then from that moment on, he said, okay, no more women. I understand that. It's just I want the truth. That's all. Right. That makes it better whether the truth hurts or not. It just... Well, at least then you know. And sometimes, too, if you, if you really have to talk about some of these things that aren't comfortable or that may not be pleasant, you should almost set up a time like a date, hash it out and say, look, okay, you know, we're going to talk about everything and then we're going to leave it there. Doesn't that get him to have time to think of a lie, though, if he doesn't answer me right away? That's how I caught him with a lot of his lies is I want well, to answer I'm, now. I'm right? talking about that stuff in the past. But stuff that's happening in your everyday life, no, address it. You always get The feeling lie. I get when, when that happens, it's like, like you're just... It's, it's such an accusation that it's just like... Not all the time, though. Brandon, Brandon you're here in this office. Not all it's the a, time. It's an issue. Something's an issue, otherwise you guys wouldn't be here. If that's not your best friend or the person that you can confide in, I don't know, what are you doing? Yeah. Right? Am I allowed to ask if he's ever thought of another woman while being sexually intimate with me? That's kind of a tough question. Yeah, I know. Have you? No, I ran into a huge issue with this actually, as to where there's, when I was asked that question originally by her, mm -hmm. yeah. a lot of other people that are around us. And I don't care, but it's, he admitted that they, he was thinking of them more than me, and I don't want to be second in line. And then just recently, when I told him, I threatened him, I'm going to leave him after all of these other lies, I said, I'm leaving you. And then he said, okay, well, I'm like, I, if the only way I'm going to stay with you is if you get a lie detector test, because there's too many lies. And then he finally started saying, okay, and then uh, the lie detector test got him to come out and say every, all, everything on the table, like all the truth. Here's the questions I have. Do you want to change them, make any changes to the wording, change some of the questions completely, we can do that. Did you lie to me about sexual contact with anybody other than Amber since January 26, 2007? No. Very good. I'm going to ask you, did you lie to me about sexual contact with Stephanie from your work? No. Did you lie to me about sexual contact with any women from your work other than Amber since January 26, 2007? These questions I'm going to review with you before I ever hook you up to the instrument, so if you have any problem with any of the questions, just tell me. Yeah. The time that you'll be in the polygraph chair hooked up to the instrument, 20 minutes to half an hour. Okay. Okay? So if you want to go to the washroom, feel yeah. free. I felt so sick in the bathroom. I just felt like, ugh. As soon as I was in there. It seems to be a, a, a real trust issue. I can see Amber's. Clearly upset. She's hurt here. I'm gonna make it work. But you don't think of any woman? I don't understand what you're talking about. No, no, I don't think I do at all. Is he asking that? You can't. It's an intent, it's an emotion, right? So, you could be lying to me, I don't know. I'll leave that up to you. Am I stupid enough to stay is the question. Am I I'm doing really, this for are, are a reason. Is really, really worth me staying with you? If I thought the answer was going to be that harsh, do you think I'd go through with this? bad news, it makes me more attractive to you. Not till later. Best outcome at the end of the day is that she finds out I, I didn't cheat on her at all, and we can go on living our lives the way we have been, where we can you know, look at each other with the same love that we originally looked at each other. Questions, I'll read them all through to them again. So every month you're doing, you're doing two weeks of days, two weeks of nights. Yeah. 12 hour shifts? Yeah. He has a job that requires him staying overnight uh, four nights a week for two weeks at a time sometimes. Now you said Stephanie's older, 37, married? Yes. Kids? Yes. Why would Amber be worried about her then? 
it's probably just, just did you spend a lot just, of time with her yeah contact i want him to not be threatened by a machine i want him to tell me the truth regardless whether it hurts i want him to know that the truth will bring us closer together Brandon, this test is about to begin. I'm going to ask that you remain as still as you can and answer me simply with a yes or a no, please. Regarding your sexual activity, do you intend to answer truthfully each question about that? Yes. I think his heart's beating really fast, really heavy. Do you intend to lie to any of the questions on this test? No. Did you lie to me about sexual contact with anyone other than Amber since January 26, 2007? No. I think he's telling the truth. Did you lie to me about sexual contact with Stephanie from your work? Ready? Whenever you want. Okay. Okay, so same question, same order. No surprises, okay? Okay. Two more times. Have you lied to me in any way since we have been talking? No. Um, I really do hope that uh, we're able to help you today. Bring closure and so forth and help you guys to go forward, you know, okay. in a more productive way. If it's to be able to help you, I hope others will see that it can help them as well. Yeah. I do have to wonder what has happened in her life. What has she seen in relationships, you know, to make her jealous and questioning and fearful of the unknown? How'd you do? <laughs> that was nerve wracking, yeah. <laughs> yes, but, um, you know, nervousness does not affect your results in any way, so I hope you do know that. I guess we're waiting now to find out everything. She didn't make me do this. My actions made this happen, and it was my understanding of, of wanting to become more with her that this is what I wanted. I don't hold her responsible for this at all. I think sometimes young people don't know how to be in a relationship, to do things for the other person, to put the other person kind right. of first and foremost. So Ken, is that something you learned how to do and did? Mm -hmm. I think I am familiar with that. I know full well you were given that advice and you did take listening it. Listening sometimes. I, I wasn't sure if you were listening to that part. Mm. That's good. I felt that this was the only way to know. And if he was willing to do it, then he showed that he cared. And if he knows that it's not my fault. I think it's youth. I think it's uh, immaturity of how to be in a relationship, what to do, uh, love. And what does it mean to be a true partner to somebody else and look outside of your own self? Sometimes you see a younger version of yourself or you, you, even they're telling stories. Sometimes you hear mistakes you've made in your life that maybe they've made. Sometimes I wasn't very forthright with my wife at the beginning of our relationship, right? To tell her exactly the truth about things. Because you think, oh, well, is that going to make me look bad? Whatever. But you know what? The best thing is tell her. Ken and I are very honest with each other. I would prefer to be honest and take the consequence than lie. One lie will lead to 20 lies. I see criteria in his breathing. I mean, his heart is going a mile a minute. Um, let's just have a look. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine beats in five seconds. A little bit of a quick heartbeat. He's a young guy, fairly good shape. So my heart's beating pretty hard. And the stuff that you know is absolutely true, you just sit there and go, am I lying? I don't know. So I didn't know that. Yeah. Yeah. And it was 
so. Yeah, no, we're good. Yeah, there's some resources out there for you, yeah. Sorry it took so long. Sometimes it just takes a little bit longer than others. There's a lot of criteria, lots of stuff to look at. Well, like I said to you before, I mean, set time to just talk about stuff. Put some time aside, you know, even if it's just a few hours in a week to just, you know, sit down and say, you know what, this was really bugging me this week. If, if you're not being honest with her up front about lots of stuff and then you're giving her tidbit, little bit, little bit, little bit, she's never going to be satisfied because at the end of two months you may have given her all the information but she's not going to believe she has it all because you only give it a little bit at a time. Yeah. Right? Yeah. If you get it out there and once it's out and you're done talking about it, you're going to feel better. It's all learning curve. you got to learn as you go. I think he's here because he wants to make that commitment to you but I, let's just get some good information and then you guys can work forward. I like to tell people I give them good information they can make good decisions. Okay, so I can tell you that uh, Brandon, being honest with you, okay. since January 26th of 07, he hasn't had sexual contact with anybody but you. Okay. So, more about communication than anything else, because obviously he's faithful to you. <laughs> I feel great right now. It's such a relief. It's just like a whole big weight has been lifted off my shoulders right now. Good luck. I feel that I have to be more understanding. I have to be more calm. I'd like to get married to her and look back on this as just one of those things that, that we had to do in order to, to create our life then. I think I'll put my ring back on and try to keep it on. <laughs> so I was watching. Uh, when he gave her the results. Oh, yeah. That's the greatest thing, hey? Oh, yeah. From what I heard, you gave him good advice, and I hope they take it. You know, there's resources out there in order to um, fix their relationship, learn about having a relationship, learn about each other. So I really hope that they do that. Yeah, I hope they do too. Yeah, for sure. On that note, it has been a long day. I know, okay. We had enough well, for today? Yeah, I'll, I'll pack up and everything, and okay, get your stuff ready. Uh, we'll get ready to go home. All right, we'll okay? go. Okay. Okay, so before we go out for dinner, you guys, we just want to show you our new office. Yeah, come on in, better, have a look around. A little better than the other one. Huh? Here. A lot nicer than the other place. Oh, Paigey, are you going to be the one taking a polygraph today? And what will the topic be? Do you have a candy stash in your room? No, the twins ate it all. And who helped them? Alex. You? <laughs> Sounds like. What else are you doing that I want to know about? Oh, um, what? he bites her toes. No, I don't! <laughs> That's a dream! Dream with me and Dad. Yes. My friend saw Alex kissing a girl. You're lying. It's the confession room. Hey, what should we do? Oh, Dr. Dad. Yes.